Win stars Paul Giamatti and Alex Schaefer and Amy Ryan. Um, Paul Giamatti is a lawyer who is starting to fail. Uh, you know, his practice isn't doing well, but it's only because he's a really good guy and takes on all those cases that no <laughs> one else will because you won't make any money. Yeah. So he's a really good person. He's paid in favors. But he's getting really, <laughs> you know, he's getting really broke. So he starts to become desperate. And in a desperate moment, he takes on, um, to get extra money, he takes on a, a senior citizen who's going into dementia um, through a little bit of a shady, shady means of exchange. And because of that, he gets thrown into this wild cyclone with a grandson showing up randomly <laughs> who's running away from the drug-addicted mother who then he has to take in because I can't get a hold of a guardian. And <laughs> it just kind of builds upon itself. Snowballs, yeah. And he happens to be a wrestling coach, and the kid happens to be a champion wrestler from wherever he is. So they bond and try to create this awkward, okay, we're stuck with you, so let's try to be friendly and make a family together. And mm -hmm. it just explodes all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's it was a fun movie. Uh, I love Paul Giamatti. Yeah. Um, most people call it, say acts really similarly, which is fine with me because I like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you can do one thing really well, you know. Yeah, I, I think my favorite part is that this is a really you know he's a great guy, but he's got he does this really shady thing at the beginning, which just makes you go, can I like him? Mm -hmm. And that questioning of is he going to be a good person throughout the rest of the movie really makes me happy. I don't know. I, yeah. I enjoyed that. Um, all the characters were good and how the plot started unraveling and how it progresses, I thought was timed well. Things went great. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the dialogue was good. Uh, the only two characters I didn't like, um, there's a side character that's kind of there, I guess is comic relief, um, played by Bobby something or other. Um, uh, Ali. Yeah. yeah. And he just, uh, the guy is so awkwardly placed throughout the movie. <laughs> I honestly, and whenever he pops up, he's always, awkward as a character i honestly thought he was going to be a pedophile in the movie like that i was waiting for the moment where he catch it where you catch him with one of the wrestler boys in bed and luckily that does not happen but it was just that kind of moment was just going through my head just waiting for it so that that made me not like the character even more because he was just so awkward in it and but the act you know just the way paul g Motti tries to well the character i can't remember his name larry uh, Mike. 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 Yeah. Just tries to deal with the insane situation that he's in and, mm -hmm. and just... Kind of a balancing act of trying to uh, have his cake and eat it, too. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of a slow movie and kind of a long movie, actually. But I was interested the whole way through, which really made me like it. Plus, it has that kind of indie-ish feel to it that I mm -hmm. always enjoy. So Definitely I, kind of a Sundance flick. Yeah. Uh, so what'd you give that? Gave it an A. Cool. I did, too. I gave it an A-. minus. Um, I've seen one other movie that Thomas McCarthy did called The Station Agent uh, that he did uh, about four or six years ago. Um, and I really like that movie a lot, and I really like this one too. And I think what he manages to do as a director is he, he really knows how to build real characters with good performances. And I think the performances in this movie, specifically by Paul Giamatti, really kind of keeps it from being that like typical older guy helps out a troubled teen, you know, kind of blindsidish type thing. And what you were saying earlier about how, you know, he's this flawed character and who makes this kind of bad decision at the beginning of the movie, keeps his tension all the way through because you're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. And you don't, you're not sure if they're going to at some points. So you're like, oh, are they, they going to go there again? Like, what's going on with that? And because of that, that also keeps it from being overly sentimental and hallmark movie of the week kind of thing. So, uh, because of that, because the, all the characters are really well-rounded and true, uh, even though it is kind of a heartwarming kind of you know thing of like this this older guy taking in a younger troubled teen, um, it feels sincere and it feels real, and uh, I just I love to watch Paul Giamatti act. He's one of those. He's one of those few actors where he could be reading from a phone book and it's going to be interesting because he's he's just so good and he's he's so instinctual and it's you know the little things the little the, the little uh, uh, things he does with his eyes or the way he'll look at something or the way he quirks a smile or things like that his performance is uh, completely embodied um, even if 
he is essentially playing the same character. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the lamest criticisms yeah. I, I hear about several actors who give great performance after great performance. It's like people always have to find a way to kind of knock them off their pedestal. It's like, well, it's basically the same performance. Well, it's basically always awesome, so <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so I give, uh, I give an A minus, uh, and I'm looking forward to other stuff that director will do. Sweet. Uh,